On August the 11th, 1924, there are celebrations for the Constitution. Vice President Ebert wants to anchor parliamentary democracy in the hearts of the Germans. Above all, he wants civil servants to identify with the Republic. The Constitution has been in force for five years. For the first time, it guarantees basic civil rights and the equality of men and women, for all, irrespective of who they are. The Reichstag legislates and watches over the government. It is the supreme instrument of democracy. The president represents the counterweight to the parliament. The Constitution grants the president wide-ranging powers. He can dissolve the parliament. He can suspend basic rights and pass laws by decree. And he has the power to appoint and dismiss the chancellor and government ministers. Ebert understands the enormous importance of national symbols. He wants citizens to identify with the new republic. In 1922, he names the Deutschlandlied, the Song of Germany, as the national anthem. The colors of the bourgeois democratic movement of the 19th century become the new national colors. <laughs> 